you know, I don't think we ever showed, or I don't think I ever showed, this Yoshi egg on Starship Mario. So, you get to become Yoshi. That's kind of it, really. Hey everybody, it's the Mechmaster 14. Welcome back to more Super Mario Galaxy 2. In the last episode, we finally got to exploring some new galaxies after so many prankster comets. In this episode, we're going to be exploring some more new galaxies. All right, so Haunty Halls Galaxy. Okay, there's not there's not a secret star in the Haunty Halls Galaxy. But that means we have to go to the Freezy Flight Galaxy and get some stars there. And again, if you by any chance hear a faint noise in the background, that's probably just my fan running because I need it on because it's summertime where I live. Alright, so the first mission is Bowser on Ice. And judging by the look of that first planet, I can safely say that it is, that it is more like Bowser on Lava. Alright, so we have the Fire Flower again, which allows us to be a cruel person and destroy some kids' hard work. Like, honestly, who knows how long it would have taken them to build stuff like this. Like, it would take me an entire winter to build a, a Goomba sculpture like that. Also, we, we have a dice here. Coins. Okay. Yeah. Alright, so we have the ice dudes again. And now I believe we need to get the fire flower again. Alright, get up here. That was weird, I like, fell due to the crystal. Alright, we have a pipe right there, but we're not going to go down it quite yet. What we want to do is we want to destroy the, the giant Bowser statue, and start sliding down this slide. Now we get to this little ice fortress here. We have this little platform right here that doesn't really serve any purpose. Uh, there's a pipe right there, but I want to make sure there's, there's nothing else here. Actually, I think I think there is something else here. So let's get the fire flower again. Oh. I forgot you get instantly killed when you get crushed by stuff. And I forgot snow that is that I forgot that snow is kind of affected by gravity. Alright, so let's not screw let's not maybe screw that up. I'm correct. Yes! I knew there was something else around here. Alright. Yay for double checking where I've been. Alright, so now we're on the now we're on kind of the lava planet. Not sure why there's a lava planet in an ice galaxy or ice level, I guess. But anyway, what we have to do is we have to roll this snowball that somehow does not instantly melt across the ice, or lava. Alright, so what we get, we have to roll them across the lava. And I kind of got my butt burned. Alright, so let's kill that guy. And what we have to do is we have to go all the way over here. For a fire flower. And I swear I fell on that lava, but nothing happened. Like, I, I swear that I fell into a little tiny pit of lava, and I didn't get my butt burned. 
Nice. Alright, so we have our first star. We just have to destroy some kids. Really hard work. Like, honestly, that Bowser statue would have taken me definitely over a year to make. Like, winter would have ended before I finished a Bowser sculpture like that. So I feel kind of like a jerk for destroying it. Alright, so that, o that opens up a new galaxy. And also a prankster comet in the Haunty Halls galaxy. Now, I know I said that I was going to do prankster comets as soon as I saw them, but I kind of want to dedicate this video just to the Freezy Flight galaxy. Alright, so we have... Sorbetti's Chili Reception. Sorbetti. I feel like that's a reference to a flavor of ice cream for some reason. Yes. Hey, it's Luigi! Let's hop in and play as Luigi! Hey. Absolutely, I want to play as Luigi! Alright, so we have the rock power up this time. And one, one thing I really like about the rock power up on Snow Planet is that as you roll around, you actually kind of gather up snow. So I, I kind of like that about rolling around as rock Luigi. Alright, so we have the dice again. Yay, yeah, a one-up! Alright, so this time we have to find five star chips. And we have to roll around and destroy more kids' ice sculptures to find them. And I don't believe you can defeat these guys by rolling into them as rock speed. We have the pipe again. That tree had nothing. Uh, let's head up here. Does this Goomba statue have anything? Yes, it does have a star chest. And I believe this is the last... Whoa! What was that? Alright, no, you cannot defeat these ice dudes by rolling into them. So, don't try to do that. Okay, I, I also did not know that rock, that Rock Luigi was not normally strong enough to withstand those sling pods. Alright, where is this last star chip? Is it in this tree? No. Is it up here? No. It's gotta be in one of these sculptures. Is it, is it, is it this one? Yes, it is. And I actually kind of just rolled right through it. Alright, so let's get into this launch star. And we fly into the fog. It's kind of hard to see ahead of you. And right here, we have some coins down there. Oh, no, no. oh thank god. Yeah, I actually knew this was here, so that little freak out was actually just me kind of acting. Alright, so there's three one-ups down there if you're courageous enough to dive off there. And oh, we don't have enough we don't have enough star bits to go talk to Luma Lee and Luma Bob. Oh, of course, now we do! Alright, so we're on this little tiny planet. We have this sling star here that takes us down to another planet. But what's this? It was not a planet at all! It was Sorbetti! I still feel like that's a reference to a flavor of ice cream. Alright, so meet Sorbetti, the giant spiky snowball. The way you fight him is that you have to just hit him in his big red nose. 
kind of like one of those boulders. Like I'm not sure you, ever, I'm not sure if we've seen one of those boulders up to this point, but basically you just, it's just like one of those boulders that has a giant red crystal in it. He fights you by just rolling into you, and he laughs at you whenever you, whenever he hits you. All right, so we hit him again. Now he's really mad. You can tell because red steam just spontaneously appeared. And also, although I'm not having trouble right now, I did used to have a lot of trouble on this short Betty fight. Also, it didn't even look like I hit him in the nose right there, and I kind of killed him. So that's the sore Betty fight. Again, I don't know why they couldn't have just called him Chief Chili or something. Like, wouldn't that have made more, so much more sense than Sore Betty? Alright, so that's that. And we have a little cutscene here. Oh, hey. right. Yeah, it's just it's just a cutscene where Luigi transforms back into Mario. <laughs> Alright, so before we before we head on and do that comment, which we're probably going to save for the next video. We still have a secret star in the Freezy Flight Galaxy. I believe you can pick either one, but since the secret star is here, I'm just going to pick this first one. But again, I'm pretty sure either one will work. Alright, so this secret star is actually pretty straightforward. So basically, all we really need to do is just get the fire flower. Then we want to destroy this tree to expose the warp pipe that we found earlier. Be down here, and look, it's our good friend the chimp. I told you we. I told you this wasn't the last time we were gonna see him. Well, well, well. You just rolled into my domain of the chimp. You've heard about my gaming skills, right? Yeah, I've heard you. I've challenged you before. Don't you remember me? <laughs> Sorry, I had to cough there. Hey, I got a little challenge for you. Just get and bump the enemies. Watch out for the spike ones. Simple enough, right? Ready to experience this? Absolutely. I'll give it this dive. You can get 500 points or more. Good luck. All right, so we have kind of a skating challenge. Pretty simple, just bump into the enemies. The quicker you fight them, the quicker more the quicker more enemies will appear. Gold enemies are worth 50 points. If you hit into the spike, they'll stun you. And I actually really I actually do really kinda like this challenge. Even though I think I'm losing. Yeah, if you hit the spike enemies, you'll get pushed back and get stunned for a little bit. Oh. oh, I did it! Alright, I didn't think I was going to have that right there, considering I got hit two times by the spikes, but hey, I'll take it! You got 540 points? I guess that qualifies you as a, as a shining rival. I may not like it, but I promise. So, you can take this. Yeah, we got a star! And I promise this will not be the last time we meet the chimp. He's got the gaming skills that could rival even PewDiePie. <laughs> Does PewDiePie even play games anymore? I don't know. Alright, so... Yeah, that was the galaxy complete. And that's the game saved. So, I think that's all the time we're going to have for this video. Next time on Super Mario Galaxy 2, we'll be tackling the comet in the Haunty Halls galaxy. And we'll also be exploring some new galaxies, hopefully. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you can, like, comment, and subscribe. That would really help me out. And with that, I'll see you guys next time. 
McMaster out.